Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doc. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Swim Intro from Camerson1313. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. You must turn God Mode on for this map. This is just a basic puzzle to serve as an introduction for the Swim series. Things will get much tougher later on. Now dive in and have a splashy time. Um, so... Notes on this is, yay, you finally get to play the Swim series. It's going to be amazing. All right. Uh, so. Is that God? Yeah. Uh, what do I normally press? Two. Okay, so it's two. Uh, yeah, no. God is on. So, hold on. SV cheats one. God. There we go. All right. So we cannot die. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. I love how bouncy water seems like to be in this game. Outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Okay, so. It seems like we need to go get a cube. Once you hold forward, it seems we're all right. Ah. That gives me a light bridge and a cube. Oh yeah, wow, okay. I need to remember, God knows I'm, I can't die. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! Oh no, God is still on. Excellent. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire. Everything looks so weird underwater. Okay. So still pretty sure. Oh, that's quite clever. Although, okay, that's something to be wary of, I guess, for the future. You can swim back under things. Okay, anyway, for the purpose of this, we'll head on back over here. I guess I should be able just to swim... Oh, cube still. Hmm. <laughs> I need to keep the cube afloat. So 
So let's jump down to here. And then we'll swim across the river, like so. <laughs> I can see this is going to be a very interesting series of maps. So where do we go from here? Also, there's something under here that I can swim under. There is, but because the funnel's not on, I can't use it at the minute. So I think I may have put the cube in the wrong place for now. I think that's going to be a later stage. I can't actually proceed there. So let's go take it over here instead. We'll go through here. Then we can go back. Don't need to recall it, I just take it out here, right? going to recall this cube there, isn't it? It's not a big issue, I guess. Oh, it's not. Okay. So it's activated by sitting on the other side, so I can't get through to that until I'm over on the other side. making a lot more sense now. <coughs> so I'm going to have to do that. Use the cube to get up there first, I guess. Please. Are you actually kidding? Ha! 
Halleluja. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pretty sure I'm going to want to keep the light bridge. <coughs> that might cost not getting any better. And... Yep, yeah, I know what to do now. Put that there. Go to the other side over here. Place the portal on our exit side like so. Swim across to here, up the funnel, get across onto the bridge. And we are out of here. All right, so a very interesting concept to allowing the player to swim um, and do different bits and pieces in the map. I'm quite interested to see uh, where this one goes. I've been told that we're going to see some weird and wonderful sights. Um, I guess because when you're swimming, you're not meant to see behind certain textures and, and objects and models and things. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what this brings. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match you'd like to play, please leave in the comments or head to my Google form. A link to that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.